we got to talk about the futures. Um, futures taking a hard turn to the downside. Again, looks like the Dow would open about 200 points lower. What do you make of this? Is that off that ISM report we got yesterday, or do you think something else is weighing on the markets? It's going to be some of that here. You are clearly seeing a softening in the economy. Um, but we are we just had a really strong month last month. And I don't think it's normal to see some sort of profits taken here. I mean, we are still seeing SP of our hundreds up over 11% this year. Markets continue to do really well. That AI trade has just continued to skyrocket, NVIDIA specifically. So I think a certain point, a certain portion of that, you're just going to see some profits taken. It's nothing I'm overly worried about, about a larger correction, at least not at this point in time. You know, by the way, our colleague Jeff Cox out with a headline that kind of fits this. Bad economic, I can't get it out. Bad economic news has been good for stocks, but that could change this week. Um, I want to talk about today, though. Uh, what's your WEX word the day uh, after some bad economic news doesn't appear to be good for stocks? How do you see today shaping up again with futures deep in the red? Yeah, and, you know, today we might see some down period, which, again, I'm not overly worried about. But our, our kind of word of the day has been resilient here because mm -hmm. despite the fact that the consumer remains very sour. So one in two Americans actually think the, the markets are down this year, which, as a reminder, they are not. They're doing very well. But three in five think they were in a recession. Despite that, we continue to get really good data on the economy. The economy has been holding up. The markets have been holding up. And I think that will likely continue as long as we have a strong labor market. We continue to get strong earnings out. Um, and overall, I think you're going to want to focus on the fact that the economy is in good position, even though the consumer is worried about it. Overall, we're continuing to see that resiliency. And that's been our word of the day. All right. So you and I have spoken about this quite a few times. Why is there a vibe session? You just kind of hit on it. You didn't use your, this is like your phrase. Um, but why is there a vibe session right now? Why are, why are the consumers so uh, detached from what's actually going on in the market and overall in the economy? We saw some weak data points, but overall the economy is very strong. It all comes down to inflation, right? I mean, people are clearly hurting from inflation. And though it is slowing, the rate of inflation is still high. It's not coming down. I think that's really what consumers want to see. And they're definitely feeling stretched right now. And overall, we're kind of hitting that breaking point where people are, People are saying, I can't keep spending this way forever. At some point in time, I'm going to hit a wall. And people are just really realizing that, whether it's you're going out to eat or you're traveling, I mean, things are costing more and more. And it's just getting exhausting on the consumer. And you're seeing that reflected in the consumer sentiment. But interestingly enough, when you see some things like retail sales, the consumer is still spending. The consumer does continue to remain strong. So there's this huge dichotomy right now where the consumer is very worried about where the economy is going. They feel like things are going in the okay. wrong direction. But the economy continues in the right direction. So I'd focus on the data, but I, I don't think that's going to end anytime in the near future here.